swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear is an infection that's found in the external auditory canal, which is common after swimming. Normally, our body uses its own wax to keep the bacteria away. However, exposure to water interferes with the waxy barrier and bacteria begins to grow. Signs and symptoms of swimmer's ear include one, pain with pressure to the ear, two, itching, and three, possibly discharge. The goal to preventing swimmer's ear is to prevent the bacteria from growing in your ear. Here's four suggestions. One, a solution of rubbing alcohol and white vinegar. You make the mixture one to one. Then you would put one drop in one ear and let it soak for 30 seconds. Repeat on the other ear. This is to prevent the bacteria from growing. But remember, do not put any liquid into your ear if you have or think you have a ruptured eardrum. Two, mineral oils. Mineral oils can be used to prevent the development of swimmer's ear by adding a protective barrier to the ear canal. Drop a small amount of mineral oil into your ear prior to swimming. But again, remember, don't put any liquid into your ear if you have or suspect you have a ruptured eardrum. Three, keep your ears dry. Since water is the main culprit of swimmer's ear, during or after swimming, go ahead and shake your head to get that water out of your ear. Or after swimming, use a hair dryer to dry your ears out. <clears throat> this reduces the amount of exposure to bacteria and allows that waxy coat in your ear to function properly. Four, if you're prone to swimmer's ear, it's really important that you leave your ear wax alone. This is the barrier that protects your ear from the infection. However, if you feel that you have too much wax in your ear, see your doctor to have it removed. If you do get swimmer's ear, here's four suggestions for you. One, apply some mineral oil to, your, to the ears that are affected. But remember, I've said this twice, do not put any liquid in your ear if you have or think you have a ruptured eardrum. Two, apply heat directly to the ear to help reduce pain. You could try warming up a towel or using a hot water bottle and just holding it on your ear for as long as it feels comfortable. Three, avoid getting your ears wet and if they do get wet, dry them immediately. Four, if you're prone to swimmer's ear, seek medical 